Okay, so I wanted to make another niche video today. However, I want to make it slightly different than other niche videos that I've revealed in the past. Now, the reason for that is that I'm aware that some people feel that YouTubers like myself and some other YouTubers are sort of spoiling niches for people and making them saturated. Now, while I don't believe this is true whatsoever, I think with any niche that is revealed on people's channels, you can spin, you can niche down with, and you can do loads of different things with and make money with. Um, no matter how much competition there is. However, I do absolutely understand people's concern when it comes to ruining these niches for people. So in this video, I wanted to try and sort of reveal the broad niche that I've been working with and having some success with. But I want to do it in a way where you can then take the information that I provided, spin it in your own way, create sub niches, do all these good things and, you know, not have to worry about whether a thousand other people are doing the exact same thing as you. Okay, so let's get straight into this now. And this niche, or let's call it a niche just for the sake of this video, is religion slash Bible. Okay, so products on Amazon, low content, medium content, high content with a religious tone, uh, Bible themed are absolutely huge. And if you check some of these sales rankings, I'm going to show you in a minute for some of the product examples I'm going to show, you'll see that they're very, very low and you're going to get quite excited to pursue this niche. Okay, so let's take a look at a few now. So the first one we're going to look at is activity books. So activity books with a religious theme or a Bible theme. Okay, so when it comes to activity books, we obviously have things like puzzle books, dot to dot, um, hidden pictures, spot the difference, things like that. You can pursue any kind of direction that you want with these activity books and you'll probably have success. Obviously, you have to do your own niche research with this just to check. And what's great about activity books, especially when it comes to uh, this religious sort of Bible theme that we're going with here, is that you can target pretty much anyone. Uh, provided that it makes sense. So for example, you can target activity books for kids, you can do it for adults, you can do it for men, you can do it for women, you can do it as gifts for grandparents, um, a million different things that you can do with this activity niche, okay? So of course we have word searches as well, which I've spoken about in previous videos. Okay, so also when it comes to these activity books, so word searches, for example, like this one here, you can decide, you can niche down, you can decide what kind of part of the Bible, for example, that you want to um, have your word search based around, what sort of religious theme you want your word search based around. Okay, there's so many different angles you can take with these books and you can make so many different additions when it comes to these activity books, especially word searches when it comes to having this religious theme um, or Bible type theme with your books. Okay. Okay, so once you've done your digging around for the type of activity book that you're interested in, the next thing you're going to need to do is come across to somewhere like Helium 10 preferably Helium 10 itself, and you can use their free tools here. You can use their free searches to get an idea of how much search volume is going to the activity book that you're interested in. So come across to Helium 10 and you can use all of their product research tools here on the left just to find out, just to make sure that the niche that you're interested in has got traffic going to it, okay? So that's not something I'm going to do in this video because I'm being too broad, too vague to give examples, to give specific examples. So you'll need to do this yourself. You'll need to find these sub niches yourself and then check to see what type of, type of traffic is going to them. All right. OK, so next up we have our low content books. So activity books I kind of consider to be sort of a, a medium content book. Then we're going to drop it down now to low content books with our sort of Bible Christian re religious theme. OK, so again, so many different ways that you can position this in the market with your low content books. So what I've gone ahead and done here is just typed in Bible journal. That's the most sort of broad phrase that I could possibly think of. And already what I can see here is a good niche example. We have a prayer journal for women. So I'm not going to go into these niches specifically, like I've already said, but this is something that you can definitely get tons of ideas in if you just look around. So think about your type, typical type of low content books, your journals, your notebooks, your diaries. Look around, niche down, have a look through Amazon and see if you can find niches, which you will, low content niches that you can create a Bible theme around. OK, and then once you've found that niche, you can come back, do your searches again. So, for example, if we found a prayer journal for women, we can go to our search bar and just type for Bible, uh, just search for, sorry, just search for a prayer journal. Prayer journal for women, it already comes up here. So let's type that in, prayer journal for women. And of course, we have a ton of results because the low content book, they have tons of results. 
And then we just do our niche research from here. Like, do we think there's enough space for us to fit in with this? Do we need to do something different to our cover? What can we do to stand out, make our prayer journals different and make sales? Okay, so with your low content books, do you really feel the need to go somewhere like Helium 10 to confirm that niche is selling well? I think it depends what the, how long it takes you to make the interior for your book. Now, this type of research you can probably do on the front page. And like I've said in my previous videos for low content books, you just need to look for books that are kind of under 500,000, consistently under 500,000 on the first couple of pages, and then just see what you can do from there that stands out from the competition, okay? So is it gonna be enough for you to write prayer journal for women on the front of your cover, or do you have to create a unique design and go from there? You probably have to, yes. Okay, and so for those of you that have a little bit more money, a little bit more time to spend with your business, how about we look into more higher content books so for example i've just come across bible stories i just typed bible stories into the search bar and the first thing that amazon suggested to me was bible stories for children and i've come across this book here and it's independently published it's got a really good sales rank as we can see here forty-four thousand in books independently published got some good reviews it's doing really well it's bible stories for kids i couldn't possibly tell you what the content of this consists of or whether you can actually produce this yourself but again, this is something that you need to research yourself. So Bible stories, for example, is a higher content type of book that you can look into. And again, you can come across to Helium 10, confirm your niche, come back to Amazon, do your niche research on Amazon as well, and then see if this book is worth putting money into. Because any sort of storybook, uh, higher content book, you're going to either have to write this yourself or you're going to have to outsource it, which is going to cost you money. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, this niche has so much potential. It's something people feel extremely passionate about. So many different products you can make, so many different target audiences you can go for here as well. Okay, so just quickly before I end this video, I want to take a quick look at some of the themes that we can go for when it comes to creating these type of books. So I think it's very important that your books are in theme with other books. So not copying other books, but in theme with other books in this niche. So for example, when it comes to anything that's sort of religion, Bible, journal related, then what I have found from looking through and doing my own products in this niche is that we need to look at things that are, well, we can look at things that are floral. So flowery designs are incredibly popular in this niche, okay? So you just scroll through the first page of something like Bible, journal, or anything like that, you will see that there are quite a lot of these floral designs that are selling well, okay? Okay, and this is an interesting thing I've just come across here. I said I wasn't going to be too specific, but this was too interesting for me to not point out, but a Bible study journal, so I assume this is a low content book, independently published, selling incredibly well, so interesting. So for those of you that have stayed this long in this video, that might be one for you to check out as soon as you can. And as you can see with this niche, the floral designs are pretty obvious here and it's a pretty big thing in this niche. And again, we want to be in theme. We probably want to do, if we do low content books in this niche, then we want to make, we probably want to make sure that we have a few at least that have floral designs on them. Okay. Prayer journal for couples. Now that's an interesting one as well. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope this has given you some good ideas with this niche. You need to do your own niche research when you find niches within this niche. Okay, so you can always use Helium 10 to kind of confirm that there is traffic going to it. But always use Amazon.co.uk or .com to actually confirm the niche. Don't just rely on the software to say, hey, it's making 1000 searches a month. Therefore, you should definitely enter this niche. Always use Amazon. Find your niche. Search it. Go through the front two pages at least and see what's happening then make a decision from there whether you can enter this niche or not okay so i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please subscribe if you haven't already there'll be plenty more on the way very soon